Thank you, uh, Jen. And thank you, Lisa. Um, it's really only Jen and Lisa who I'm talking to on here. Um, there's a guy um, that I think watches sometimes. Um, but I think he feels that he failed me as a friend, which isn't true. Um, I don't know what to say. Sometimes it's tough for me to reach out. I realize uh, it might be true for this guy too. Um, I didn't mean what I said. I'm really mad at you. Um, and I'm really happy you're doing well or better than you were and that things are starting to pay off for you. It's awesome. Um, my, uh, my support system is, is <clears throat> very limited right now. Um, with just regular people out in society. Um, so when I, when I feel that someone who said they would be there leaves, that's spot on what the personality, borderline personality dis disorder is about. Um, when I feel abandoned, I lash out. Um, sorry to say this, but when I do have marijuana, when I have cannabis, and I smoke cannabis on a regular basis, I don't let this shit get to me. I know in reality that no one that has said they're they're there has abandoned me the way I I think they have. Um, which, by the way, I didn't buy any cannabis. Um, I had a friend loan me twenty bucks, um, and I walked down to the smoke shop um, to get a pack of cigarettes because they're cheaper at the smoke shop for some reason. Um, and as I left the smoke shop, I walked right past the gas station where I could have bought enough beer to catch a pretty solid buzz. Um, and I'm proud of myself for that. Um, you know, there's this guy, Steve. Um, there's another guy, Clint. Um, both Steve and Clint are in a very similar boat to me. Um, they're not married. They've had really bad breakups, um, be it with their spouse or with a girlfriend that was hopefully going to become their spouse. Um, and for both of these gentlemen, Steve and Clint, both those women, peaced out. They deuced. They for real abandoned. There's no denying that. And so I get that. I, you know, I get that um, because I've had enough relationships now that I thought would last. Thought this is the one. And uh, I'm not saying I'm guilt free. Um, I'm six foot eight, I'm 300 pounds. When I start yelling and stomping my feet, people literally um, fear for their lives because, um, well, I think what it really boils down to is in their minds, in, in most people's minds, they, they believe I'm gonna fucking kill them with my fists, which I could, um, but it doesn't translate. That's not the next step for me when I start screaming and shouting and stomping. Um, I need to release that. It's like poison getting out of my system when my brain, uh, what's happening gets caught. This is how I describe it. It gets caught in these cobwebs. There's a bunch of cobwebs up in this side and when I can't process something, when I can't process what's going on, it, it makes no sense. Um, it's ludicrous, it's insane. Then, then therefore, I go insane. Um, I lose my shit um, because I can't compute 
my mother my motherboard is fried in certain spots so when I need it to work and it doesn't I get very upset because I think why can I not understand this the way that this person or these people want me to and um, I think that I'm I'm, I'm well spoken that I elaborate well um, that I I make it known what's what to like for people who do want to interact with me or are still trying to you know like what are the trigger warnings like what are the signs like what as as somebody who still um, for people that are still trying to be somewhat involved in my life um, you know it, it's it's really not that hard um, at least in my mind it's not but to check in you know just touch base every day now I realize um, besides Clint and Steve you have families you have a boyfriend you have a husband you have a wife you have kids um, if you don't have kids that relationship is taking pretty much all your free time um, be it with your boyfriend um, and so I want I want to get that into my mind where I can understand that logically but I get anxious um, and I I panic and my go-to is to get angry that's my go-to way of handling with things that I can't understand is I get pissed off about it it really makes me mad um, and you may ask well how how does that still bother you you just admitted that people are busy these like so-and-so has a husband and kids so-and-so has a boyfriend and two kitty cats you know so-and-so has a wife and three children two or three children um, you've got to provide for and you you have to take care of and be there for and that's that's a that's an all-consuming thing um, for men and women who are um, in relationships and will not give up um, Sorry, brain farted there. I was trying to think of what to say. Um, I admire the shit out of that. Um, I wish I could find a woman who was that same way. Um, that will not leave. That is, is committed and dedicated and loyal. And knows that I am not my anger. That is an aspect of my brain injury. My, my borderline personality disorder that I'm working on very much um, but I need help and I've said that before I need help um, you all have helped me as much as you can and as much as you're able to uh, but I need more I need more hands-on help I need someone or somebody's um, to be a network not a network a uh, support system I don't have a support system. I do, those of you um, who are, who still care are supportive more so than those who just don't give a shit at all or refuse to support. Um, but at the same time, that's, it's not quite enough um, for me. And I, and I have to be honest with myself. So I, I do the best I can and, and I also realize that I may never have a support system the way I used to have. That that may have been a once in a lifetime thing for me. Um, so therefore I try to adjust and adapt to the circumstances to overcome it and to push on and to keep creating stories. Um, Saturday not gonna write today my brain is going a million miles a minute um, I could uh, but instead I'm doing this because I am 100% sober from all mind-altering substances and um, you get to see this at least I know Jen will probably see it at some point Lisa will probably see it at some point 
and um, and and the guy, the one guy who I I basically um, cut ties with because I I couldn't couldn't figure out why he had kind of gone dark on me. Um, I don't think he did, and and if he did, he probably just didn't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care anymore. Um, I'm not out for revenge. You know, how dare you? Now I'm going to do this. No. Um, I was going to say something else here. Uh, anyway. Um... I guess that's about it. Um, I'm not going to give up, Lisa. I'm not throwing in the towel. Um, but you got to realize, and you see in my eyes and my face from that last video, that um, sometimes I'm just at a standstill. And I, I don't know what to do to help myself. I don't know how to help myself. I was never taught how to take care of myself or help myself. Um, my grandmother and grandfather on my dad's side had um, risen to the challenge, if you will, and accepted being my caretakers. Um, then when my Grammy got sick, um, me and my grandpa became her caretaker. And... Um, Then she died, and um, I lost my grandpa as my caretaker. It took about three years. Um, everything that the doctor, the neuropsych said, everything that they'd witnessed with their eyes, forgotten. Even though I remind my grandpa constantly, maybe not all the time, but uh, when I I say this is wrong, I don't understand, and it's not a borderline personality disorder thing, it's that I'm, uh, well, I feel like Job. I feel like God made a bet with the devil, saying that um, he won't, he won't forsake me. Um, no matter what you do to him, he's not going to give up on me. <sighs> Don't know if I can say that for sure right now, but I'm not blaming God. Sometimes I get really angry at God, like, why the fuck is this happening? Why are you allowing this to happen? Um, but uh, I'm not on a crusade to uh, destroy God. I'm just not. I wish... I wish people were more supportive. I wish more people were able to support me in, in more substantial ways than, than is able to happen right now. And, um, you know, because to me, I always saw God through people. Um, or I'd see the devil through people. One of the two. Um, a lot of, a lot of demons out there. There's some decent ones left, and uh, I don't really know what I am. Like if I'm crusade, like I'm here to do good, good stuff for God or something, or if I'm here to bring about the end of the world with uh, my master Lucifer. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Um, it really doesn't matter anymore. Every time I get fired up about it, um, I realize that I. <laughs> You know, a little bit delusional. Um, but again, I got to get it out. Um, getting off Facebook too now. Uh, the only reason I'm on Instagram is that's where I... Uh, it's like a safe spot for me to chat directly with Jen. Um, because when I get on Facebook, I don't just go to my DM. Little lightning bolt with a circle around it. I don't go to that. I look at my comments and then I... I think for some reason I need to 
need to make a scene or I need to um, be viable or uh, I need to be part of that those different cliques that exist and um, well let me do this let me say this or let me attack it from this angle and uh, what I realize is this, it's pointless it's it's futile you know um, that's not gonna change how I am unwelcomed but um, I lost my train of thought I'm tired too I didn't get to bed till like 1 o'clock last night and I got up at like 6 when I'm working on 5 hours of sleep which I used to be able to do no problem but oh man slowing down slowing down um I don't even know what I was saying, but um, I'm not trying to get religious or anything. Uh, sometimes I just I question heaven and hell. You know, if either place does exist or not, I still just wonder about those things and uh, how that relates to this world and this life that I'm living. But um, it's beyond my comprehension. It has nothing to do with the brain injury or the personality disorder, that's just because I'm human. As much as I wish to say I'm not, um, I'm not able to wrap my head around that. That's all I'll never know. Um, not, at least not in this life. But um, still, makes me wonder, you know? Because like I said, I either see the devil in people or I see God in people. Sometimes I see a little bit of both in people. Sometimes God, sometimes the devil. It's because we're human. To be human, that's normal. But to forgive, that's divine. Who said that? I didn't say that. Uh, it wasn't those exact words who said that, but um, you get the gist, right? So, I gotta forgive myself. I gotta forgive myself for being, for never being good enough for my dad. Um, I gotta forgive myself for not being perfect. Um, and I have to forgive myself for believing that people are decent. Um, it is my belief at this point that uh, we are not born inherently good. I think, uh, I think deep down we're inherently savages, all of us, um, especially us European people. Yeah, looking at you. Anyway, that's it for now. See you next time.